wasn't so so long ago that you know I was a student and you know, sitting in in a seat in an auditorium like uh, you guys are here today, um, listening to. And I remember very specifically this time when Bill Gates came to talk at at Harvard, and I'm, I'm just like, wow, how, how do you how do you do that? Um, and um, but you know the trick is is that. The media likes to sensationalize this, as if you have some eureka moment, or you are some singular person who can build something on your own, and that's just not how the world works. Um, you know, when I was in school, I built a lot of stuff that I just liked building. Um, there was not a single moment when I when I had some revelation that Facebook was going to be awesome. Uh, that's not. Maybe how the media or movies or whatever would like to uh, portray things. It's not. It's much less exciting. But the reality is, I think most uh, services in the world that reach the scale that Facebook has, um, you start off building something that you care about, and you know you don't necessarily think it's going to be that big. I, I didn't. Um, you know, I built Facebook, the first version of Facebook, uh, for. My college community, because I wanted to be able to connect with the people at my school, and I remember very clearly talking to my friends at the time and saying, "You know, it's how cool is it that we have built this community for our school? You know, one day it's going to be awesome when somebody else builds this for the world, because something like this needs to exist for the world." But it didn't even occur to me that you know my friends and I might be able to play a role in doing that, right? Because we were college students, right? I mean, we didn't have any. Engineers to to work with, or servers, or resources, or anything like that. And you know, there are these huge companies that deliver products for hundreds of millions of people, right? There's you know, I always assumed that it was going to be like Microsoft or Google or uh, someone would build this for the world. And what basically just happened is um, at each step along the way, we just kind of kept doing the next thing and uh, growing from there. And you know, there, there were teams inside these other companies that. That thought social media was important, and we're working on it. But you know, there were all these different memes and, and narratives uh, in the world. You know, people would say, "Oh, well, you know, this is just a fad. People are going to use it, but then they're going to stop." So, um, you know, so a lot of the teams we were working on didn't take it that seriously, or you know, the, the higher ups in those companies didn't care, so they didn't get resources, and we just kept going and going. And then people would say, "All right, well, all right, fine. So maybe people are using it, but..." It's never going to make any money, right? I mean, social media doesn't make any money. And we just kind of kept going and、uh, going, and then pretty soon we had a service that was、uh, bigger than any of these other ones, and that kind of is how we are here, where we are.、Um, there's no magic. A lot of times, I think people just get afraid because you know, often your dream is it's it seems like it's so、um, so far off. But if you just kind of focus on building stuff that you think is good and Uh, and, and you keep on going at each step along the way, and don't let people deter you from that. And you just really care about what you're doing, and kind of don't give up at each step along the way. Then,、um, you know, I think that's how you、uh, that's how you build something good. Read, write, read, read. If the president were here, one of his greatest strengths is reading. That's one of the reasons why he's a good communicator, why he's such a good writer. He's a voracious reader. So we're trying to get our girls, no matter what, to just be, to love reading and to challenge themselves with what they read, not just read the gossip books, but to uh, uh, push themselves beyond and do things that maybe they wouldn't do. So I would encourage you all to to read, read, read. Just keep reading, and writing is another skill. It's practice. It's practice. The more you write, the better you get. Drafts.、Uh, our kids are learning. The first draft means nothing. You're going to do seven, ten drafts. That's writing. It's not failure. It's not not the teacher not liking you because it's all marked up in red. When you get to be a good writer, you mark your own stuff in red, and you rewrite and you rewrite and you rewrite. That's what writing is.、Um, and if you come out with those skills, and then you're confident. And you can articulate, and you can stand up straight and look anybody in the eye and say, "This is who I am. It's a pleasure to meet you."、And、that's one of the things we try to do with our mentoring program with young girls. My message to them is: if you can walk into the White House 
and meet the first lady and say, my name is, how are you? And look me in the eye, then there's nothing you can't do. That's why it's important. If you guys walked here, are sitting here in front of all these people, standing tall, asking questions, using your voice, you have to practice that. These arenas just show up again and again, and then you just get used to it. The nerves go away and you start relaxing into your own abilities, but it's practice. I'm saying this is a time more than ever that you want to begin to inoculate yourself with positive words, coming to conventions, showing up on meetings, being on the calls to make yourself unstoppable, to get out of your mind the polluting negative thoughts that's causing most people to go through life being stuck because they're volunteer victims. Somebody said that many people die at age 25 and don't get buried until they're 65 because they got so much garbage in their minds. You are here because you've got a clear vision of what you want and where you're going. Give yourselves a round of applause. Come on, bring energy level up. Yes. Yes. You want more. You want more. You're different. You're different than everybody else. Don't worry if they don't get it. Don't try and convince people to do this business. A person convinced against their will is of the same opinion still. You are not like everybody else. You can walk outside and find pigeons, but if you're looking for eagles, it's gonna take you a minute. You are different. It's lonely at the top. How many of you know it's lonely at the top? Raise your hands. It's lonely at the top, but you eat better. That's what I'm talking about. You're different. One great entrepreneur said, I choose not to be a common man. It's my right to be uncommon if I can. I seek opportunity, not security. I do not wish to be a kept citizen, humbled and dull by having the state look after me. I want to take the calculated risk to dream and to build, to fail and to succeed. I refuse to live from hand to mouth. I prefer the challenges of life to the guaranteed existence, the thrill of fulfillment to the still calm of utopia. I will never cow before any master, nor bend to any threat. It's my heritage to stand erect, proud and unafraid, to face the world boldly and say, this I have done. You showed up because you're building a business that you can stand and say, I did this. I did this. This is my dream. Give yourselves a round of applause. Yes, yes, yes. You once said that if you were growing up in this generation that you would have a field day because you would take their souls. What did you mean by that? The, the younger generation quits, not everybody. So I gotta, I gotta put that, people get their butt hurt. So not everybody. Most of this generation quits the second they get talked to. You did this wrong, you did this wrong, or, or they get yelled at. It's so easy to, you know, to, to be great nowadays, because everybody else is, most people are, are weak. This, this is a softened generation. So if you have any mental toughness, any, any ability, if you have any fraction of self-discipline, the ability to not want to do it, but still do it. People have a, a hard thing to understand. I hate to run. And, and, and what makes me so crazy it doesn't need more. People go, well, 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 why do you run if you hate it? What are you talking about? I don't want to take showers and eat either. I hate that too. The, the whole, the, that's life, man. That, and and, and, and it, it wasn't until I changed that mentality that I became somebody. I hated going to school. So guess what? I was dumb as sh That's what, well, one plus one is two. But if you can get through to doing things that you hate to do, on the other side is greatness. That's what people understand. By me running, I am callous in my mind. I'm not training for a race. I'm training for life. I'm training for the time when I get that two o'clock in the morning call that my mom is dead or something happens tragic in life. I don't fall apart. I'm training my mind and my body and my spirit so it's all one so I can handle what life is gonna throw at me because the life I've lived, it throws a whole bunch at you. And if you're not physically and mentally prepared for that, you're just gonna crumble and you're good for nobody. Have you ever felt like there were times where you wanted to quit or that music wasn't necessarily for you, like you didn't have faith in what you were doing? Yeah, hell no. 
It's good. Hell no. Because uh, quitting is never an option. But have there been times where you've maybe felt like you talked about being misunderstood before? Have there been times where you've maybe felt like people weren't understanding it and then that frustration leads you to maybe not want to continue on that path? That's the shit that get me, that's the shit that get me going. Mm -hmm. That type of shit right there. Um, not being accepted is like my whole, my whole driver. Like people not f with me. I just want to prove a point that I'm not as bad as, I just want to know what you don't f with. You know, and that's always helpful information. Um, and I, I get that advice to everybody. Like, if someone, if you feel like quitting is the thing, just mm -hmm. challenge them quitting to like that extra pump, the second win.